my god. Yes! Get this one in the net. With a whip for that, I've, I've messed up. Come on, the park of eight. What is that? A smile on my face now. Uh, something special for me has happened this morning. Cheers. Hi, ho ho. Your legs just float them in, don't you? <laughs> Now, have I got some exciting news for you? Yes, you guessed it. We're heading to the Northwest Carp Show. Now, it's on the 4th and 5th of November, coming very soon. And guess what? Parker Bait's going to be there. We're going to be bringing the freshest bait in the game, baby. I can't wait. Hopefully, you guys can't as well. Now, a couple of things to remember. We're going to be bringing a selection of our Magic Dust, our Flat Spot. We're also going to be bringing Shelf Life 18s, 14s, and various other products as well. Now, join the Parker Bates wave, head over to the stand straight away because the last shows we do, or shows what we attend as Parker Bates, we always bring limited edition products. Now it's exciting. We're probably gonna bring a Scopex flat spot, but I'm already saying too much. I'm gonna leave it at that. There's some big, big, big brands there for the likes of Gardener and also Corda as well. Solar have got a massive stand there and that's just me touching on a few of the biggest brands in the industry. So there it is, see you on the 4th and 5th. Make sure you head over to the Parker Bait stand. I cannot wait. Ah, yes! You're probably thinking, you're not Ben. Nope, that's right. Ben has trusted me with the camera. Reason being, I've just packed up at Linear now. We just did a quick 24 hours yesterday. Uh, me, my mate Connor and one of his mates, we turned up on St. John's. We did a bit of surface fishing yesterday. I managed one myself, which I might be able to get Steve now to stick up on the screen whilst I'm talking. But um, yes, we did that. Then we packed up, went over to B1 for the night. And um, yeah, nothing for me. We all blanked that last night on B1. But this morning is a special morning. So me and my mate are heading to France. We're going to Billy's Lake, we're on Lake 5. It's not a massive lake itself. There's only four swims, the old double swims, but to say I'm excited is an understatement, but we're currently just over on St. John's now by the tackle shop. We're going to have a quick shower, then we're going to head over to the shop, get a quick drink, and then I'm driving the first half. And then once we've done the Euro Tunnel, my mate Yayan, he'll be driving in France then, and then we should be in France then by late this evening. We've got a hotel tonight, and then Friday morning, we'll start fishing then for the week. So, fingers crossed, not only can I bring you a banger, but can I bring you a 60 pounder as well. Come on the pack of baits, baby. Well, you currently join me at the gate now, waiting to get on the Euro Tunnel. Um, it's been delayed by about 20 minutes, but you can probably tell by my face and sweating like mad that it's super, super hot. It's currently now about 29 degrees, but we've got a slight problem. The aircon doesn't work in the van, so it's a bit more than 30, uh, 29 degrees in the van itself. Um, so I've just currently got a bucket out the back. I'm sat in between the van and the bus, just trying to get some shade. I've got my towel there, <laughs> drying on the van from this morning at Linear where we had a shower. But yeah, no, so we've got about another 20 minutes to a 30 minute wait now till we get on the tunnel. And then once we get on the other side then in France, then we've got about a three hour drive. So I think the next time I'll probably touch base with you unless anything interesting happens along the way. Um, but yeah, next time I touch base with you, lot will probably be at the hotel tonight once we checked in. Get a few bits at the back of the van, just get some extra prep done for tomorrow. And like I say, yeah, can't wait to get there and have a cold shower because I feel sticky, hot and uncomfortable. But yeah, it's all going to be worth it in the end. I'm still very excited for what the week has to come. But all I'm going to say is bring on the 60 pounders, baby, come on.
Uh, well, we finally, I mean, finally arrived in France. I think we've done about 10 and a half hours of traveling so far, but we made it. We had a little problem with the, I should say, language barrier when we turned up. The lady didn't speak a word of English and I don't speak a word of French. So, um, yeah, that didn't go too well. A lot of uh, Google Translate, but we got there in the end. She showed us where a restaurant was. So um, we're just taking the bags up to the apartment now. Um, we're gonna go out and get some food, maybe have a cheeky pint, or should I say pint of water. I don't know, we'll see how we're feeling. But um, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna bring the camera to the restaurant and hopefully, well, my plan is I want a big fat steak. I think Yaya wants a big steak as well, but we'll see what we can get. But I'll quickly take you upstairs now. I'll show you the room. Well, I should say room, apartment. It's not too bad. For £90, I think it cost us for the night. And I tell you what, I'd come back again, that's for sure. So we're going to go out and get some food. So I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> right, well, we've just finished food. I think I just had the fattest burger I've ever had in my life. We was going to have steak, but with the bit of a barrier between the languages, we couldn't work out what steak was what. It wasn't making sense, so we just went with the easy option, a burger. And uh, let me just say, it was good. But we're going to head back to the apartment now, have a quick shower and I'm not going to lie, I'm looking forward to sleeping in the bed tonight because last night was a bit of a rough sleep. I didn't sleep too well. We didn't get the bivvies up at Linear. We just had the beds out and that was it. And uh, didn't have the best of night's sleep. So I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep because we've got an early start in the morning. I think we're getting up about half seven and then we're heading to shops. We're going to do a food shop for the first half of the week. And then we're going to go to a shop called Decathlon, which is pretty much like a go outdoors back in the UK. Um, so it's got uh, pretty much everything there, but it's also got like a little fishing section. So we're going to go there. Um, my mate needs some stuff to make some leaders and we're going to try and get some floaters because completely ran out of them at Linear. The whole bucket is gone. So we're going to get them. But for now, we're going to head back, get a good night's sleep and I'll catch you a lot in the morning. Bosh. Well, good morning. Today is the day that we're heading to Billy's Lake. I am absolutely buzzing for this one. Been waiting for a long time now. Um, going to lake number five. So it consists of four swims, I think I mentioned previously in the intro. Um, it's four swims, they're all double swims. And I think there's carp ranging from about 20 pound up to about mid 60s and the biggest being a, a common. So if I can get my hands on that one, I'd be very, very happy with that. But um, it's about half seven now in the morning. Uh, we're gonna. I just had a shower. Yarn's just gone to the shower. I just had to come and get the, my toothbrush from the van because I left it in there. And um, yeah, so we're gonna head to the shops now about eight o'clock. So in about half hour's time, and then I gotta go to the pharmacy because I'm not gonna lie. When I went to Linear the night before we come down, I have been bit everywhere. My legs, my arms places that I shouldn't be bit but <laughs> I don't know how they get there but yeah so I'm gonna go try and get some mosquito cream something like that just so I'm not uh, suffering all week because I'm probably gonna get bit some more because everybody at fishes you know mosquitoes they're just bloody everywhere and they're a bloody pain in the ass but um, yeah apart from that absolutely buzzing for this one so I'll let you lot be for now and I'll probably touch base next when I'm at the lake so I'm excited for this one I'll see you soon finally made it to Billy's Lake and uh, I currently feel like I'm uh, in Tenerife somewhere where uh, I shouldn't be fishing possibly it's that hot I think it's now about 28 degrees already today and um, I'm feeling it for sure but if I just spin this camera around there she is I'll take you for a little look around this peg then so we quite lucky to be fair we didn't have to get into a draw um, there's only three of well, three swims that are fishing, all uh, two two anglers on each swim, but um, yeah, everyone was kind of come to agreement with what swim they want, and I'm not allowed to say what the word is, but C U N T corner it's called. This one's called Triple Trees, and then we've picked this swim here. But what I'll do, bring you down here without breaking my legs. 
So we basically, it's like, it's like three swims in one area. So we've got this bit coming off here. So we've got a right hand margin going down there. But I don't know if you're going to pick that up. But I can see with my Polaroids, there is so many fish just on the surface out here. So I spoke to the guy, you are allowed to surface fish here. So what we're going to do quickly is put some floaters out. But then, coming down to here, I've got another little bit you can fish out by here, which is the open water, but this, you've got a nice big margin going down here, which only we can fish going down there. They can fish going down to this bit, but I remember I said it wasn't a big lake, but it's definitely caught me off guard. But I think what we're going to do is start off with a couple of zigs out by here. And then I think we're going to try and find some spots down here for tonight. But yeah, we're just going to take it all up. There you go. See carps back out the corner. There's the man himself, Mr. Blanca. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get some floaters out now. And then hopefully it'll be nice to get off the start today. We've both got two rods out each at the moment. Um, we played with the deeper just before we put any of the rods out and it's averaging about 12 foot out in front of us at the moment. So what we've decided to do, there's a lot of fish showing in between the 10 foot and the six foot. So what I've done is I've stuck a 10 foot on and a six foot. And then what Yian's done, he stuck a 10 foot on with an eight foot. So playing about with the uh, depths at the moment. So hopefully if one of us get a take on a certain depth, we can stick another rod at that depth. But for now, we're just going to leave it as that. It's very, very hot at the moment. I think it's about two o'clock now in the afternoon. And it's just imagine, just about hit 31 degrees. So uh, you can only imagine what it's like. There's not much shade here. So we're just trying to make the most of it at the moment. But I just thought I'd quickly show you around what they got. So we're quite lucky. Flip this around for you. So here, we've got showers, toilets, and the charging points all right behind hard peg so we're very lucky in that perspective because we haven't got to walk far and then what we've got is this green container here which is very very nice we've got a nice bench in there it's a bit of a mess at the moment we've got the bait boat over there stuff everywhere but also for 70 euros for the week you get a fridge full of water of course there is some water in there <laughs> but get that quite a nice little set up there you get a table on the side but yeah so this is obviously called i think it, yeah what was this swim called again royal box. the royal box so we've got the royal box and then you've got another swim down there one over there in that corner and then another one over there but as it stands we've got our four rods all out around here We've got another little margin coming down here, which is nice as well, which I'll probably play about with later and have a little look what's down there. But for now, we're just fishing some zigs. We've got a nice little hut on our swim as well, which I've been making the most of at the moment because it's the only bit of cool shade that we've got. And then what I'm going to do now is I put this camera down. And what I'm going to do is out of all these buckets I've got, I'm going to make up some bait now right so i'm just currently on my third boat trip now just got under just under half a bucket left boat you can just see there going back out so our max is 20 wraps so i've just got at 19 wraps to play safe it's all level out there it's all gravel it's just one big gravel pit but i'm gonna do one more boat trip after this leave about a quarter of a bucket then and then about an hour or two then i'll get another the rest of that bait out but for now I'm just gonna sit back relax and go and have a cold shower i think because i am sweating like mad it's quite uncomfortable to be honest we've got a little bit of shade just over there in this hut so after my shower i think we're just going to chill in there for a half hour and then maybe have some food then in a bit well, i've not quite seen this before catfish the size of my hand <laughs> taken <laughs> this fish first, first fish for you <laughs> Nice. Mad. Absolutely madness. Right, well it looks like steak night tonight. Got some two fillets, two rumps, rice, and I think Yaya wants one in a bread roll, which I might try as well, but 
get back to you in a sec now when we're cooking them. So this is what's on the menu tonight. We got fillet steak, which for me, medium rare, looks good. Rice, some Italian, don't know, salad thing it was called. What do you reckon, Yai? Mm, cool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that is people. <laughs> That is people hunting ducks behind me. I think I better go and check my boxes after that one because I just bloody pooed my pants. Oh my god. Don't want to big myself up too much, but them steaks, well, they were cooked to perfection. They were medium rare for the both of us, and I tell you what, I more than enjoyed it. I think it was well needed after the day we've had today. The heat was just bloody horrendous. It's been a bit too hot for me, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that was food out the way. Went down an absolute treat. Just took a little walk down the margin now just to have a little look, see if I can see any fish showing. Uh, we're not seeing much, but it is shallower down that end of the lake, so I've got a little corner bit um, going off down to the left, which um, I'm going to try tonight just with a little solid bag, maybe a little bit of bait around it because I've got two rods on a spot with about three quarters of a bucket of bait. So I've spoke to a few people and they've said they love the bait in here. But then the guy opposite in the corner swim has just said he's had a 31 pound mirror on a little bit of bait. It was just a little bit of the Billy's mix that they um, do here. He said he added a little bit extra hemp with just a single on top and that's managed him a bite already on the first day. So I thought it'd be rude not to give it a little go myself. So I've got a couple of solid bags tied up. I'm just gonna put a handful of bait over the top with it. And hopefully tonight that can bring me a bite because I've got more I'm feeling the nighttime bites, it's just so hot through the day. Um, the fish are just, I can see them swimming up in the layers, but they're not even taking the zigs at the moment. Well, I say not at the moment, it's only been one day, so I'm still going to play with the zigs through the day. Nighttime, I'm going to drop them down to the bottom, but hopefully, fingers crossed, tonight, me or Yian, we can just land one tonight because it'd be nice to get one off on the start. But um, yeah, for now, I'm going to head back over to the bivvy and just have a little chill out i think it's been a very very long day a lot of setting up in the heat so yeah i think for now i'm just gonna have a chill out i think i'll touch base with you next i'm gonna have a big 60 pounder in the net baby right well here we go me and yian were just chilling on his peg having a couple of beers having a little catch up and just a couple of bleeps drop back then it pulls up again and i walked to the bivvy to get the head torch and then it went off so just started stripping him of the line. It's not playing like a cat, so fingers crossed, it's the first cap. So I'm gonna put this down and we'll concentrate on getting this one in and hopefully we can show you a carp now soon. First fish of the session for the iron and uh, 64 pound cat. And let's just say, give him a battle of a lifetime. I think oh, it took him about 25 minutes when he made. Really and it's a first ever cat for you, but uh, we'll get this one back, mate. Get the rods back out, and hopefully, this time we can get a carp on the bank. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> He's struggling. Oh. <laughs> Let's get it back. Oh. 64 pound, seven foot long catfish. No one we came for, but I'll take that. <laughs> so, it's our first morning on Billy's Lakes, and um, what can we say? Yesterday, a little recap, very, very hot, 32 degrees. Um, it was a very hard setup, but um, it got there in the end. So it was a pretty quiet going into the evening. We just had some food, chilled out. And then just before bed, um, my mate Yaya and his rod went off. And it was quite a weird take. It was a little drop back and then it pulled up tight. And then it slowly started pulling out line. And before a catfish, I normally see screamers, so uh, it's a bit of a weird take for me for a catfish, but did he not know that he was going to be in for the battle of a lifetime for him? Um, I think it was a good 25 minutes to half hour he's playing this fish. Um, but yeah, we got it in the net in the end, and my god, was it a big one. I've never seen a cat, um, a cat, a cat this big in my, in my life either. And it was about six foot long, at least six foot long. Um, but yeah, so we got that fish for Yian last night, got his rod back out, and then it was a pretty quiet night to be fair, and I'm not gonna lie, I had a well-deserved sleep. I think I must have had a good eight, nine hours sleep last night. 
but it was needed. That heat really took it out of us yesterday. Um, but now this morning, I'm a bit indecisive what I want to do. It's obviously going to, it's going to be a really another hot day today. Um, I'm not going to give up on the bottom. People are still having bites off the bottom and I want to get them fish feeding on the bottom. But I am going to play with a zig today. Definitely at least one zig. If it does get too hot, maybe I'll bring another rod in and put two zigs out, but I'm not going to give up on that bottom uh, bottom baits. Um, I'm going to keep that spot going, keep the bait going in throughout the day, and then hopefully, you know, late at night, even through the day, maybe I can nick a bite off there, but I'm going to commit to that throughout the week, that spot, and just play about, because the heat is just... It's going it's to make it tough, but for now, I'm going to get one of the rods in, I'm going to put an 8 foot zig out and then I think it's going to be time for some breakfast because I'm hungry, not going to lie, he's fallen back asleep over there so I'm going to wake him up now and then uh, yeah, we'll have some food and then I think I'll touch base with you then after food so I'll see you in a bit Well after a frustrating morning, I mean we've been using quite small hook baits and Yion's reeled one of his rods in with no hook bait the other one having a catfish again the size of my hand and I had the same for me on my left hand margin rod. So we've just put them all now on big, um, as they called, extra, extra, extra large uh, tiger nuts. So we put them on top to fake corn and we've just put this rod out and we thought it was going to be another small cat because he was having weird little drop backs, tightened the line, drop back again. So we thought well, we'll reel it in anyway just to be safe. And he's got a fish on. It's definitely not a cat the size of my hand, but it's a fish. And I'm hoping, yeah, it's a cat because we've had, what, three cats the size of our hand <laughs> and one the size, twice the size of us. So um, I put this camera down and I'm definitely going to go with a cat with this one. <laughs> well, I think the face expression says it all. I'm not going to go with 30, but I'm definitely going to go with a whip for that bad boy. That has a f got to be a 40 pounder. I mean, <sighs> look at that. That is a big, big fish. Come on. Right, so we have got... Hey, get your head over there, you. That, mate, is dead on 50 pounds. Shut up! Dead on <laughs> oh, come on! Come on, mate, well done. <laughs> I'm lost for words. I think Yayan's lost for words, mate. 49.12, we thought it was a 50, but it was a couple ounces under. Put the bait bow back out this morning, and within five minutes, he had a drop back. We thought it was a little catfish again, but later did we know it was a 49 pound 12. Absolute beast. Wow. You happy mate? Yeah, over the moon. Struggling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's put it down then. So this is Yion's biggest ever fish and his French PB. But of course we can't forget about the bucket. Woo! <laughs> Let's get him back then mate, come on, put it back. Okay. Absolute chunk. <laughs> That's it, he's ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and that is 49.12 this morning. And um, we had a bit of a switch about it, we, mate? So we've mm -hmm. gone, what we've gone is one rod each. And then we've just gone, my rod, Yion's rod, my rod, Yion's rod. Put Yion's rod out, put my first rod out. And that is all we've got out for now. And um, just, just as I've walked back down to the rods to get Yion's second rod out, I had a big backdrop and it started pulling out lines so we'll get this one in the net and hopefully, just hopefully, I can show you a decent sized carp. Gutted, frustrated, I lost the fish. Um, had about on for about five to ten minutes and I got it about two rod lengths out. Didn't quite see the fish, it stayed deep. Um, it kept stripping me a line and then the worst thing that can happen 
a hook pull. So um, yeah, quite frustrated at the moment, not gonna lie. Yarn's now just cooking the sausages and eggs over there for our sausage and egg sandwiches. But um, it was interesting because when he dropped the bait boat this morning, it was within five minutes that the, he had the take. And then funny enough, the same thing happened to me. I dropped the bait boat out, I've walked back to the cabin to get a drink and I've had a big drop back and then it started pulling line. So they reacting to the bait, that's for sure. But like I say, frustrated at the moment. I'm gutted, but it's our first full day. We've got plenty of time to go. And if anything, hopefully it's just a good sign of what's to come. So I'll put the camera down now and then I'll go and tell you, take you over there and show you our sausage and egg sandwiches that Yarn's putting together. I'm just cooking my last egg now. Got one ready there. Put that other egg on top. This nut has gone for something different. What have you got then, Yai? Bang and sausage cheese toasty. Sausage and cheese toasty. <laughs> gonna have these. And then hopefully this can cheer me up a little bit after losing that fish. And have a nice cold shower and chill out for a bit then because all the rods are out for the day now. But breakfast. With a lot of sun and a nice view. Since Yian having that 4912 earlier, um, what a moment that was to share together. I've never seen a carp that big on the bank myself. Um, and obviously an hour after that, I had a take as well. I was playing it for about 10 minutes and managed to get about two rod lengths off of the bank and your worst nightmare happened, hook pull. So I was in a bit of pain after that myself. Um, took me a couple hours to get over it, but just trying to get in my head, I've still got six nights to go, so there's still plenty of time to catch another fish. Um, but after that, it's been pretty quiet, to be fair. We put a zig out, uh, zig out each because it's been really hot today, so we thought, why not? It'd be worth giving it a go. But yet again, today, just no action with the zigs. Um, but the plan of action for tonight for us is we're going to put all six of our rods into the centre of the lake. Um, all the bites that have come out this week so far, I'll say this week, the first 24 hours, have all come out the centre of the lake. So if that's where the fish are, that's where the rods need to be. So that's going to be our plan of attack. Um, but we're going to go a little slight change of hook baits because they got these little nuisance fish in here, which they look like little baby catfish. They're the size of your hand, but they're that small. When they do take your hook baits, if you've got a small hook bait on, they're not big enough or heavy enough to lift the lead off the floor. So when you wake up the next morning, and you feel like, oh, go on, we'll redo the rods because we've had nothing all night. You then reel in these little fish that have been on all night and now your rods haven't been fishing. So what we've bought is um, at Billy's Lake, they have these 500 gram bags of extra, extra large tiger nuts. So what we've done is on some of our rods, we've got a tiger nut topped off with a fake corn. And then on some of the other rods, we've gone double tiger nuts just to be 100% sure that these nuisance fish ain't going to bother us no more. Um, so yeah, going into the night, that's our plan of attack. Um, apart from that, today we've just been pretty much chilling. Not often that me and Yian get together and have a catch up, so we've just been sat in the shade, staying out the sun, because yesterday we burnt to a crisp. We've both feeling it this morning, that is for sure. So we've just been applying the after sun and trying to make ourselves better so we don't suffer all week. But yes, for now, I'm gonna go back over there I think we're going to have chicken skewers tonight, so I think next time you see me, we'll be back in our little green shed, container, whatever you want to call it, our kitchen for the week, and we'll be cooking our chicken skewers. And actually, I thought, before I do head back to go and cook my chicken, I thought it'd be rude not to make, you know, a little appearance of what I'm wearing at the moment this week. 
if none of you have seen Cartwork's clothing before, my biggest suggestion to you is go and head over to the website and go and have a look. I'll get Steve to stick the link up on the screen right now. But my God, is this clothing nice. The quality, the shorts, is just the quality is unreal and another thing i like about it is they've got zips on the pocket so for people like me clumsy silly buggers you ain't gonna drop your phone out in the lake when you're on the water's edge netting a fish but um yeah you've got these green tops which are very nice very carpy you've got your green shorts um, i've got another black top which you might have seen me wearing at the start of the video and um, they've got hoodies sweaters joggers you've got caps bucket hats um it goes on and it goes on but if I one big suggestion is go over have a little look at the website and have a little look for yourself because I tell you now you will not you will not regret it at all so this is what's on the menu tonight chicken skewers it looks like it's got some red onion in there some peppers that's what's for us tonight but not the best of news because I just went to go to a sh have a shower after getting all the rods out and we've got no running water now, so we've just had to message Bill. I think he's on his way over now to fix it all. So hopefully by the end of tonight we can have a nice cold shower. But let's get this chicken cut, because I am bloody hungry. Them chicken skewers were good. I don't know what was on them, what they were marinated in. It was all in French, but all that matters is they tasted good, so we enjoyed them. I just had a shower, Jan's just had a shower, so we're ready now to just chill for the night. So I think we're going to sit back, relax. I think we might even find something on Netflix just to have a chill for tonight, watch something. And then hopefully, we get caught off guard with an absolute screamer, because all three fish, three fish? Yeah, three takes, sorry, that we've had, and the two that Jan's landed, They've been very weird takes. For the size of the fish that I've seen come out, a little drop back and a little pull up tight. I'm used to screamers at linear, so maybe it's a bit different with these big fish. But yeah, so that's just done for tonight. Rods have all been put out. We've got all five of the rods. My three and Yarn's two out in the center of the lake. He's put his back down in the right hand margin. And like I say, now it's time to chill. And if you do hear all these ducks in the background over the week, do excuse me because they've got some duck farm next to us, which if you think it's bad on camera, 24 hours a day for seven days of quack, quack, quack. I'm not looking forward to it because it's doing my bloody head in already. But yeah, it's time to go over and relax. So hopefully next time I see you with a fish on the bank. give you a bit of a morning update it's currently about half seven now in the morning and um, yeah I've been up for about half an hour just been watching the water uh, just seeing if I can see any shows which I gotta say not at all this week have I seen one carp jump out the water uh, we've seen a lot just breaking the surface when it's been hot throughout the day but nothing that's you know made it clear as day saying there's a carp over here um, yeah, so going into the night last night, we obviously, I think I mentioned it last night, I put all three of my rods into the centre of the lake. Yian put two of his rods into the centre of the lake and he stuck to sticking one of his rods down the right-hand margin where he had that catfish on the first night. 
Um, yeah, quiet night again. It's just it caught us right off surprise because we thought with the heat that we got through the day and it being that hot, we thought our best chance of a bite would be nighttime and early hours in the morning, which I suppose his catfish was sort of nighttime. It was 11 o'clock at night and his cap was at half 10 in the morning. So in that perspective, we have been sort of right. But I was just expecting a bit more activity, but maybe I've been a bit greedy because it is still a early days. It's only Sunday and we still got all week to go. Um, but for now, I'm going to head back down on the peg just behind me. I'm going to reel all my rods in. We're going to get all the irons rods in and we're going to get fresh hook baits on and back out for the morning because at 12 o'clock today at lunchtime we're going to head back out to the supermarket um, we're going to just top up on some water get some extra bits for food and a lot more of this mozzie spray because i tell you what it's working a treat it's working really good so for now it's saving me from loads of bites so i'll definitely be getting another two bottles of that but yeah like i say for now i'm gonna head back down there get the rods back out and i'll touch base with you in the bed well, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update really. Um, there's not a great deal that's happened since um, I spoke last this morning. We were breeding the rods this morning. Um, we sat on them for a couple hours and then um, we reeled them back in then about half 11. They were only out for a couple hours, like I say, but um, we had to go to the shops. We really needed a stock up on some water. So we bought another 12 liters of water um, we got a couple of cans of coke and uh, bits and bits of food, nothing special really. But um, then we went and had a McDonald's after that then. That was definitely well needed. Um, it was quite nice, a bit of a treat. And um, anyone who's gone abroad before, they kind of know if you go to Spain or France or anywhere else in the world where you go to a McDonald's, the menu tends to be a lot better than what it is in the UK. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. We had some ice cream there as well. And then we've headed back to the lake. Um, it's gone downhill a little bit since then. Uh, the bait boat has now started playing up. It's um, kind of doing his own thing. I set on GPS, it goes towards the spot, and then it just don't stop. It just keeps going and going and going. Um, a couple of times we've had to reel the bait boat in, and yeah, been a bit prolific to be fair. And then Yaren just said with his last rod, he says, instead of sending the bait boat out, I'll just flick a single down the margin for now and we'll see what we can do to try and fix it throughout the day. <laughs> and then he's only gone and, gone and dropped his bite alarm in the water and now his bite alarm's broken. So he's trying to dry that out in the sun. So as it stands, we're both kind of, um, I wouldn't say grumpy, but we're both a bit stressed at the moment because the bait boat's broken, his alarm's now broken. There's no shops open on a Sunday, so. It is what it is, um, Decathlon, I think I mentioned at the start, it is like a um, go outdoors back in the UK. Um, so when that opens tomorrow, if needs be, we can go there, sort him out a bite alarm. And the bait boat, it's not the end of the world because we can still spot and we can still fish. So, but for now, I'm gonna get back out this sun and go sit back in the shade over there because I'm already starting to feel the heat and I'm starting to melt. But for now, like I say, I don't want to keep doing too many updates if not much has happened because it's just going to be an update upon update upon update with not much to tell you really. So like I say, I'll go back over there for now and hopefully now um, between this and this evening before we do the rods, I can get a fish or Yaya can get a fish and we can get a fish on the bank to show you and hopefully another big one like he had yesterday because that'd be very, very nice. I'll see you lot in a bit. Well, please excuse Yian's um, pink and yellow flowery swimming shorts, but I just heard him scream after I finished that clip. <laughs> he put his hands in his swimming shorts, and there's a big old caterpillar in there. Oh! <laughs> Is he making me jump? I don't know if it's got like a thorn thing on the end of it. I think it's a caterpillar, but we're both. Yeah, we're not a fan of it, let's just say that. <laughs> Where do I start? Um, so we were just redoing all the rods for the night and I was up in the cabin just pre-tying some more rigs because I somehow managed to lose my only spear one at the time and I heard a couple bleeps come running down to my rods, bobbing up tight to the bite alarm, hit into it. It's giving me a good fight. Wee. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Please don't tell me that's a cat. But So I've been kind of panicking a little bit because 
after I lost that fish on the yesterday morning. Um, yeah, just been a bit worried because it's been very hard going at the moment, but I've just redone the rods for tonight. Yarn's got all three of his out. I got my two rods out and somehow I managed to lose my last rig. So um, I just sat up in the cabin then making a new spinner rig to get on my third rod out. And as that was going on and Yarn started cooking food, I heard my alarm go off and uh, come down and it was pulled up tight and then it started pulling out line more. But hopefully, I mean last time I said we're going to put the camera down and I'll show you where it's in the net, I lost it. So fingers crossed this time I can get it in. And I'm hoping it's a big carp because... I think it is. I, I'm going to go with a carp for now. It's not stripping me as bad as a catfish, but... Only time will tell. So we'll put the... Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Pray to everyone above that it wouldn't be a catfish. And of course it was a catfish, um, it was about 35, 40 pounds, um, I didn't get it out to be honest with you, I wasn't best pleased, I'm not here for the catfish but you can't do anything about it, so um, I just unhooked it in the net, sorry I've got these midges in my bloody face, um, I just unhooked it in the net and we just released it, but um, the rod's back out now for the night, feeling a bit more confident now, we've kind of played around with hook baits again today, we were using snowmen, um, we were just trying to, if we, we were trying to make the hook baits as big as we can to prevent the nuisance fish, but at the same time we wanted to try and introduce the hard, um, not the hardened hookers, sorry, the boilies, the pop ups and the wafters and that, but it's just not possible. They they rip them to pieces. They somehow get them off the off the bait floss itself. Um, so we've just had to admit that we're just going to have to stick with the tiger nuts and uh, double up on the XXL tiger nuts. So on all six rods. All we've got is these big tiger nuts topped off with plastic corn or it's just straight double tiger nuts. But if that's what we've got to do this week just to keep a hook bait on and catch us fish, that's what you've got to do. I know you can't decide what fish are in these lakes. If I could, I'd just have straight carp and carp only, but it's not my op uh, it's not to me, is it? So, like I say, rods are out for tonight. We've just had food. Um, I didn't get no video of food tonight. It was nothing special. We bought a box of these... Um, 10 little tiny pepperoni pizzas and it was a box of these cheesy hash browns um, so like I say it was nothing special so we just sat down and enjoyed food I've just had a shower now um, Yarn's just gone in the shower and then we're just about now obviously we're an hour and ahead oh there's our little duck he's been with us all week we've been feeding him he loves us and he keeps coming to chill with us but um, yeah we're just getting ready now to sit down and watch tonight's Parker Bates video. Um, we've got about 10 minutes till the live premiere, so we're just gonna sit down, enjoy the video for tonight, and relax, and hopefully, just hopefully, we can get a few fish tonight, because my confidence now, after these two days, is def definitely most 100% built the confidence up. Um, but for now, like I say, we're gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's Parker Bates video. So I'll see you lot in a bit. So this is our little friend that we've got at the week at the moment. Um, we're going to have to think of a name for him. I know T, he likes the birds. Um, Garrett's had a little bird love, bird love, or a little love for the birds. Oh, here he comes. Garrett had a little love for the birds at um, Burners Hall for the competition. And it looks like it's my turn. He's pretty cool. He's not shy. And I tell you what, he loves our bait buckets when we leave the lid off because uh, I found him in my bait bucket a couple of times but every time I go over to bring the camera he jumps and runs so um, but yeah I think over the next couple of days we're going to have to find a name for him but he's pretty cool I did just start filming and the camera died so that's my bad but we've got it right in front of the net at the moment um, it's definitely a carp size I do not know but kind of taking out my left hand rod at the moment. Oh, it's not a big one, but it's a carp and that is for sure. So it's a 20 pounder. Well, here we go. Finally managed to land my first carp of the session. I had a 40 pound cat last night, which I just let go back because um, they're not my best of friends. I do not like them catfish. But this morning, this one has decided to finally grace my net. It was 29 pound, four ounces. Um, it's definitely not the best looking carp I've ever seen and he's just splashed the hell out of me with a load of water so 
I'm going to get this one back, but this one was with one of them extra large tiger nuts topped off with a bit of pink corn and then just over a bed of bait with um, we had the OG fish palette, the OG fish um, boilies with the fruit and nut alongside of it just soaked in the flat spot in the sauce. So I say we'll get this one back and hopefully now that's a good sign of things to come. Right, well here we go. First couple of sessions for me. Hopefully the next one can either be a 30 or if not, maybe a 60, I'm not being greedy, but here we go. Well, I've finally truly got a smile on my face now. Uh, managed to get the first carp in the net for me. Uh, this one was 29.4. Uh, not the biggest in the lake and definitely wasn't the most prettiest in the lake, but I'm not blanking and that's all that matters to me. And from tonight, for the rest of the week, the weather's turning for the better. Better for the fish, maybe not for us, but um, it's raining and um, that's really going to tr uh, turn them on. Um, but for now, I've, I've messed up. Clumsy Rob, his normal self. Uh, I had a 29.4 this morning and when I decided to put the fish back, I decided to leave my phone in my pocket. And not until I got out the lake that I realised my phone was in my pocket. So I've uh, put it straight in the sun, uh, taken the SIM card out and um, basically we thought, well, we'd better go to the shop quickly and get a bag of rice to try and save my phone. Um, but now the SIM card's broken. Well, I say it's not reading the SIM card. So then I took the SIM card out <laughs> and it already gets worse. You couldn't think it does, but it did. I then dropped the SIM card <laughs> in the gravel and now for the life of me, I cannot find this SIM card. So as it stands, I've got a phone that works at the moment, which is now currently, if I just grab this, in a tub of rice and um, yeah it looks like I'm gonna have to live off um, well if this works I'm gonna leave it there for the next two days to be safe but I'm gonna have to just use um, Yarn's internet for the rest of the week just to try and stay in contact with people and then I should be after another phone third phone in two months that I've broken to water damage one was kayaking the other one, which I can probably get Steve to put the clip on the screen now, where I jumped in B1 for Ben's fish. <laughs> get that in that net, mate. Get in there! Come on. No! Oh, get in the net! Jump... <laughs> mate, that's a nice fish. Look at that! Wow. Oh, bro. That's a little scary. Yeah, I've got a problem. Bro! Hey, my phone! <laughs> and this being the third one now in two months, so um, I just rung G as well, my girlfriend. She is not best pleased at all, um, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm not going to let it ruin my week's um, rest of the week's fishing. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy now. Well, I say quite happy in, in the fishing side of it that I've now managed to land a carp. Yian's landed a carp. Um, we both had a catfish, which you know it is what it is. But yeah, it's the last day of this 30 degree heat. Um, tonight slash tomorrow morning is meant to start raining and it drops from these 31, 32 degrees down to like 18. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that's going to make a bit of change in the fishing side of things. But like I say, for now, the rods are back out. Uh, we've got all six rods back out in the water now after getting back from the shop. So it's just going to be a matter of sitting back, chilling, and more, um, I don't know, maybe not so much chilling on my phone, that is for sure, but yeah. Just gonna sit back and enjoy the lake, watch the water, and take it from there. But for now, unless anything happens between now and this evening, um, that'll probably be the next time you see me. I think I'm gonna try and touch on a few rigs today, maybe. I'll, um, I say it's nothing special, but I'll get the rigs out this evening. Um, when I get the rods in this evening, I'll get the rigs out and I'll show you what rigs I'm using. But like I say, for now, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Bosh. Well, um, the iron for his toasty was burning. I definitely think that's burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Extra flavour. Extra flavour. Not for me. <laughs> me and Yain just had breakfast. I had my sausage and egg sandwiches, and he had his um, sausage and cheese burnt toasties. 
<laughs> yeah, he burnt the hell out of them and um, he still ate them, so he enjoyed it, so that's all that matters. But I just thought the last time I've walked around this lake was the first day I got here, and as it stands, for all the anglers fishing on this lake, nothing has really come out throughout the day because it's been that hot, so I just thought, well, you know what? I've got nothing to lose, really. I've got a whole week here, so I thought I'd bring in the rods and I'll take a little walk around. So the swim to the right of us, no one's fishing in. Um, then we've got a couple of lads around to the corner. So what I'll do is I'll t turn this down camera around now and I'll show you this empty swim next to us. It's quite a nice swim as well, to be fair. So um, I'm not quite sure what this one's called, but it's another nice swim. Got loads of open water out there. And again, you get these lovely green huts. And I don't think I've mentioned this, and it's something I didn't know, because I did bring my own, but you get your tripods, and you get your um, cradles. You do have to bring your own sling and net, but, again, these are a lifesaver when it comes to the sun. Um, they can still be quite hot, especially when it's 30 degrees, because this metal tin, but the shade is shade, and it's better than being out in the sun itself. But, I mean, just look at this place. It's just incredible. I think it's an eight acre lake. Um, you've got catfish in here too. 105 pound, which was a lake record that came out, not last night, the night before, which these one of these lads in the corner swim had. So yeah, there's a hundred, catfish up to 105. Um, you've got a few Xander in here as well, which are predator fish. So I think they are another one that controls this, um, control the nuisance fish as such but yeah you got carp then up to mid 60 obviously you got a few 40s couple 50s in here and there is a handful of 60s as well but for now i'm going to put the camera down i'm going to go and have a little catch up with these two lads around the corner so i'll see you a lot later well this is what we've been waiting for all week it wasn't meant to come just yet but it was meant to be tonight but never have i ever wanted it to rain so bad whilst we're fishing but it looks like that hot sun is now gone and the rain has now come in so hopefully just like back at home this rain turns the fish on, come on. and one of these six rods goes screaming off <laughs> oh, I've never seen someone so happy to see the rain but hopefully it's a good sign for things to come well, this is our little evening snack. We've got some crackers, some cheese, some salami, and some more cheese. But that rain is on and off at the moment, and it just come down really heavy. And they started showing for the first time this week, but it stopped again. But it's on and off at the moment, but tonight has now turned to thunder and lightning and rain. So, fingers crossed, brings on the big carp. Well, we was enjoying our cheese, crackers, and salami. Yeah, and moaning how spicy they are, being a big girl, but you just had a take and it's swimming in. in. <laughs> oh, he's dragging it in. I don't know what the bloody hell this is, but it's uh, not a carp. Well, might well, be a grassy. Oh, I don't know. What is that? Is it? I'm glad it was him and not me. It was a dreaded bream, um, about a six pound, seven pound bream. Yian's gonna get his rod back out and I'm gonna get back to making my um, salami, cheesy crackers because I was enjoying them, not gonna lie. But just look at that view. That is what I've got for the week. But the rain's been weird, it's been on and off all day. Um, I say all day for the last two hours. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that what we've been told is coming in tonight is thunder, lightning, and lots of rain. So hopefully it sticks to that and it turns the fish on. So for now, I'll see you lot in a bit. Can we just take a moment to admire the slime that that bream has left? <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> Come on, the park of eight. <laughs> Well, that there. <laughs> you right there? <laughs> he went for 
falling. He's going out to get the bait boat, which has floated back out, but he slipped down the bank and fell in on the way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, something special for me has happened this morning. Um, my middle rod has gone off. Well, there we go. That's part one of my French fishing video. What can you say? I enjoyed it from start to finish. I hope you lot enjoyed it as well. But for now, part two. That's right, part two. Where this video just left off, my mate netting a very, very special fish. That's where it's going to start off in the next video. I set myself one goal for France and that one goal was inside that net and that's I'm going to leave it as that. So for now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, get down in the comments, let me know how you thought my first ever fishing video went and I'll see you Wednesday. Peace out.